I would just say speedrunning is trying to play a game as fast as possible. Or a specific level in a game as fast as you can. And it gets to the point where other like-minded people come along and you start competing with them and start building up a leaderboard. In speedrunning, there are many categories. Some categories are limitless. Whether that be exploits or glitches that the game has just because it's buggy. In other categories, there are limits. That is more just focused on perfecting every single movement that you make so that it's almost like machine perfect. Of course, that also involves trying to optimize everything. So a lot of runs will look kind of the same. Do I think that speedrunning is a sport? Absolutely, I do. Like all sports, I, I consider speedrunning a sport because of its physicality of it. It's also like kind of dangerous for your hands. A lot of inputs really fast. It requires a lot of dexterity in that regard. Speedrunning requires so much like mental focus. It requires hours of you grinding and practicing this one movement just so you can get a better time, better second. Every single second counts, milliseconds even. It takes a lot of will to power through uh, speedruns sometimes. It, it can be very disheartening. It takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time out of your day. And I realized that me playing sport myself ever since I was eight years old, in sport there's, there's really the science and then there's the art. And in speedrunning there's the exact same experience. You focus on the science first. So if you're playing football, well, European football, you have to learn how to kick the ball. You have to learn how to pass, how to shoot. In speedrunning, you have to learn how to move your character, how to do the jumps properly and as quickly as possible. And then after you learn the science, you have to learn the art form, which is the mental side, which is most of speedrunning. And that requires a lot of time, patience, a lot of dedication. I feel like sport, as uh, most of the time, is related when something just becomes competitive. Speedrunning can be very competitive. You're trying to beat other people to be the fastest at whatever you're doing. So you can compare it to something like sprinting. Recently, esports has been a big thing when it comes to like competitive gaming. 40 million live viewers. $35 million prize pools, million dollar player net worths, jam-packed stadiums. No, this is not NHL, NBA, or NFL. This is eSports. 454 million people are expected to watch an eSports event this year. A ticket to the Dota tournament costs over $100, and nearly 17,000 people paid that. In a billion dollar industry, these pros are racking up wins and stacking up cash. I'm talking six-figure salaries. Welcome to the world of esports. Considering people play competitive games such as like Overwatch or League, the same should be going for speedrunning. People should be able to run it. They race it competitively against other people. It's kind of bizarre that just a few years ago this wouldn't happen, but now you can see video games on ESPN. And I don't think that speedrunning is any different. Are they moving around? No, they're not moving around, but it is uh, something that is competitive that requires something different in your body, which is mental, you know, mental energy. And I think we just need to kind of broaden our sense of what we think sports are. I think sports are games and video games are the most game gamey thing that I know. <laughs> so I, I do think that speedrunning is a sport. So the advice that I would give to somebody who started speedrunning, my first question would be, what is the game that you want to speedrun? One of the best ways to choose a game, I would say, is, is through nostalgia. If, if you know it's a game that when you watch it, you get those memories of when you were a child playing the game, you know you have a really deep love for that game, and that's, that's a really great way to choose one. My philosophy is play the game through twice. And if you enjoy it the second time and you improve a lot, it's probably a good speedrun game. I really enjoyed playing Super Mario 64, so I sort of decided to take it to the next level and picked it up as a speedrun. At first, things look very scary. If you see someone running a game and they do something that you just don't know how to do it. Look up some YouTube videos and do 
some research on it. Yeah, there's plenty of YouTube videos for almost any game. And there is a community for just about any game you can imagine. The second thing I would say to someone trying to speed run is to realize that things take time. So expecting that you can be a top player in two months, well, you would feel disappointed <laughs> pretty quickly. Do you want to do it because you want to have clout and be the top and the best? I think that isn't the best mindset to get into when it comes to speedrunning. The only things you really need are like the courage to do these things and keep trying and then like a good attitude going into it. They say guts and spirit sometimes. If you just go down on on like a run, it's just you against the game. It's just like you know that you screwed up. You don't have any outside factors coming into play on that. Taking care of your mental health on top of your physical health because it can be very hard mentally to try to push yourself as far as you can go. Don't beat yourself up about not getting there faster compared to other people. Go at your own pace. And the third thing I would say, focus in more on self-improvement and just temporary goals at first really give you a good start so you could feel dedicated and not lose motivation. Once you have worked so hard to, you know, get that sub 20, to get the time that you get, you are so proud of yourself. Like whenever I got that time, I legit cried on stream because I was so happy and everything because all that hard work paid off. You will feel better about yourself because you met that sub goal, like that tiny little goal post. I would definitely say that speedrunning is it's something that would really teach you a lot of these important things in life because it's such a difficult uh, and time-consuming discipline. But I think that these kinds of disciplines are really, really important because it makes you a stronger person and ready for life.